Alright, it's Friday. You can stop pretending to work now and just relax and watch Celebrity Buzz Meter on a Socialite Slide for August 24th, 2007. One day, Janice Dickinson and a flock of her models from her agency marched down a Hollywood street in support of PETA. The scantily clad Janice and models waved signs that said, I'd rather go naked than wear fur. Well, Janice, we would rather you wear fur. Hey, it's not that I'm pro-fur, it's just that I'm anti-naked old lady. And also, spray tanning your cellulite does not make it go away. And in This Is As Close As We Get To Politics news, it was announced that Janine Garofalo, a liberal, will join the cast of 24 next season, a show created by a conservative. Janine says she took the role because she is still trying to make up for her 1997 snooze fest, The Matchmaker. And radio doesn't pay much. She looks great, though. Coming in at number 8, Mariah Carey is butt-ass naked on the cover of the September issue of Interview Magazine. The issue also comes with a tiny time machine to take you back to 1993 when you gave a shit. And my grandma's doily curtain she's wrapped herself in is not helping the situation. I kid. Mimi looks great. It's nice to see something other than an anorexic, protruding, boned starlet on the cover of a magazine. Am I right? And number seven, we have John Mayer and Cameron Diaz, who, according to People Magazine, were seen all over each other this week in New York. I don't know, Cameron. Mayer can sing, but can he freak your mind like Chris Angel did? Don't you kind of miss waking up in the middle of the night floating above the bed with only half your body? Or I bet the time you put your cat inside a sealed watermelon seems kind of cute now. Hayden Panettiere turned 18 this week. It's my birthday! She was greeted at LAX by Photogs that gave her flowers. Aw, see? The paparazzi aren't all bad. Although I did think the contents of the card was a little out of line. Foxy Brown was thrown in jail yesterday until her next hearing on September 7th. She had been on probation for assault charges, but the two recent incidents violated her probation. One of the incidents was Foxy throwing her blackberry at a neighbor last month, causing the victim to nearly lose her teeth and her lip to swell. Can we please start doing background checks before blackberry purchases? Maybe like a 10-day waiting period? Are we going to wait for the first blackberry homicide to happen? For us to wake up? We need to be proactive, America. At number four is Beyonce with another concert mishap. Seen here in this video. The audience thought they were seeing Bee's bare tatas, but according to our publicist, she was wearing a flesh-colored bra. I know, it's kind of a bummer, but I really don't have anything snarky to say here. I just want an excuse to show the, uh, the previous mishap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's funny when people fall. Britney Spears is apparently too good for Justin Timberlake, rejecting an offer to sing a duet with him. Well, she did initially, but then she called right back and said, Hey, Tay Tay, if you take one of my babies, you know, I'll totally do it. Just don't let him near KFED, because we have some issues right now. He even subpoenaed my cousin. Can you believe that? OMG, you guys. HSM2 was so awesome. Zac Efron is, like, so cute. I want to have his babies! L-O-L, M-O-A-O, F-O-L-L, like, T-Q-G. Yes, High School Musical 2 was huge this week, and the soundtrack ruled the U.S. pop charts with the second biggest opening sum of the year. So it's no surprise that the stars are all receiving endorsement offers. Uh, Zac Efron is fielding offers from Sunkist and Agent Orange, uh, Corbin Blue from Chia Pet, and Lucas Graybeal from Gay. Don't you think that pretty much represents gay? No? The Los Angeles DA has stated that Lindsay Lohan will be charged with seven misdemeanors, but the young actress will not be charged with a single felony. Some reports are saying that she may only spend one day in jail. One day in jail? Are you freaking kidding me? This just in. While everyone is paying attention to Lindsay, Nicole Richie checked herself into Linwood Jail and walked out only 82 minutes later, spending only 35 minutes in a cell. Seriously? 35 minutes? You can't even get drunk in 35 minutes. You should at least have to spend as much time as you did in jail as you did drunk and high doing all the stupid shit that you did. These girls make me crazy. 